Hey everyone, I'm Jesse from Darkstone Reviews Video, and today I'm finally doing my complete Funko Collection video. So that's all things Funko. Uh, starting off with this shirt, uh, my Baby Metal shirt. I have two actually. Um, you'll see a box for that later too. And also I have this Deadpool one that I got in the uh, Marvel Collector Core Crate um, a few months back. So awesome. And so yeah, there'll be uh, Pops, Bobbleheads, uh, Mopies. Mystery minis, uh, dorbs, uh, and anything else I'm forgetting right now, uh, it's all going to be in this video, so check it out. And I'm using these uh, Baby Metal Pop Tea boxes for the background here because this is the TV and uh, it helps stop the reflection and, uh, and it obviously ties in with the video. So uh, that's my large, uh, which I'm keeping in the box for now, and this is uh, empty. Uh, this is the uh, uh, medium sized one that I'm wearing right now. Okay, so even though uh, this is not being done in any, in any particular order, um, I do have all my Universal Monsters together So to start off with. So here we go, we got Dracula, awesome, the Wolfman, now when, when these came out I had to get the, uh, I had to get the whole set, I love Universal Monsters, Frankenstein's Monster, Bride of Frankenstein Creature from the Black Lagoon, awesome movie Really nice detail on that one And from this island earth, Metaluna the Mutant Sweet Alright, and here we have Ultron Very cool The Vision Maybe I should hold him up like that. I don't know. Does his head stretch if I do? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Hawkeye. Lots of nice detail on him. The Hulk. I know there are several Hulks, uh, and a, well, there's several of a lot of the Avengers. I think this one is from Age of Ultron, because I think that's what I bought my, most of my. Um, Avenger Pops from. So I'm pretty sure that one's from Age of Ultron. And Captain America, again I think this is from Age of Ultron. I do have all the boxes um, so I could check on that later if you want to know. And Iron Man. Uh, this is uh, Damn, I can't remember what the name of this one is. Again, uh, I have the box, so I can I can tell you the specific name if you really want to know what this one is called. Um, but uh, that's, that one's pretty cool. I really like that one a lot. We have the Alien from Alien. I really like this one a lot. Very cool. And Predator, of course. And I didn't show all my Universal Monsters. I forgot about Phantom of the Opera. Here he is right there. And the giant Thanos. And Neo. This is my only uh, Matrix um, pop. I really like this one. I really like the pose. <laughs> Very cool. And we got some more monsters. Uh, the, the shark from Sharknado, or, or a shark from Sharknado. I love this one. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, I loved the first two movies. They're horrible, but I love them. Uh, I still haven't seen the third one, though. I keep forgetting to uh, to check that out. Uh, I got to see the third Sharknado film for sure. And we got Freddy Krueger. Very cool. Jason. This one took me a long time to finally find. I found him eventually at a convention. Yeah, he was hard to get. And Michael Myers. Yeah. Pinhead. And this is from Hellraiser 3 for some reason. I think that's the only one that there is. Um, but yeah, they, that's called the, the Hellraiser 3 one. And Robocop. Also a really cool one. Awesome. And yet another Universal Monster. I think this is it for the Universal Monsters. The Mummy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them now. 
and of course the collector from Guardians of the Galaxy Nebula also from Guardians her feet are really really tiny she's one of these pops that should come with one of those little uh, clear circular bases because she falls over very easily because her, her legs are so tiny and Ash from the Evil Dead and Army of Darkness of course basically Evil Dead 3 um, yeah awesome love those movies um, yeah Bruce Campbell I met Bruce, oh, I didn't meet Bruce Campbell but I saw Bruce Campbell uh, a couple years ago at Ottawa Comic Con, uh, his Q&A was awesome. He was so good, was so entertaining, really funny guy. And of course, uh, The Dude from The Big Lebowski. Awesome film. And Sauron. He's really, really cool, eh? Very, very detailed. Awesome figure. And uh, here is uh, Ronan. Very cool. And of course, Yondu. Alright. And here we have uh, Ken from uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Also, a really cool one. And also from Tokyo Ghoul, Toka. Who, yeah, I. <laughs> she does not stand up very well, even though she comes with a stand. Um, she still actually manages to fall over, so I, I uh, <clears throat> shoved her stand underneath the uh, the TV stand there. So, yeah, very nice pop, um, but she does not stand very well, even though she has a stand. <laughs> there we go, and Thor, and I think this is also from uh, the first Avengers movie. I don't. Or is this from the Thor 2? I don't remember now. One of the Thors. <laughs> He's pretty cool. And Sam from Trick or Treat. A uh, very cool uh, anthology horror film. And Han Solo. This is a, uh, a loot... Uh, this, no, yeah, this was a Loot Crate exclusive uh, from the big uh, Star Wars box. Or no. Oh, well, this was a Loot Crate exclusive. I can't remember which crate it was from now. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Han Solo uh, from The Force Awakens. And yeah, he's wearing a... It's a I think it's his outfit that's different. And uh, Darth Vader, of course. Gotta have Darth Vader. And we got uh, Chewbacca. Alright, Darth Maul, love Darth Maul, big fan of him. Best thing about the Phantom Menace. And Captain Phasma, very cool, hopefully, hopefully she'll be doing more in the next movie. <laughs> Kylo Ren, also a big fan of Kylo Ren. Bubble, 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 bubble. And Crossbones from America, uh, Captain America Civil War. Uh, it was, uh, I was disappointed he died so fast. Uh, I was hoping he'd be in the movie a lot more and have a lot more badass fights. But, uh, you know, well, what you gonna do? And we got Smaug from The Hobbit. Really, really cool. Neat. Deadpool. Uh, I have more than one Deadpool. Um, I think this is the first one that came out. Uh, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure this is like the original Deadpool pop. And Green Lantern, Hell Jordan. Awesome. Howard the Duck, of course. This was a pretty cool one. <laughs> and Mystique. That's a nice one, too. Nice color. Uh, 
and Magneto. Do, 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 do. And baby Groot. I have a, more than one Groot as well. This is <clears throat> this is of course the baby one. This was uh, very very popular. Even uh, a lot of people who don't normally collect pops uh, bought this one. I think. All right. So here's the uh, regular Groot, which was also really popular. Um, I did not get the um, original shipment of this one. Um, I don't know if this can. Consider the second printing or anything. I don't see anything different about it. But uh, when this first came out, um, it was impossible to get, <laughs> unless you wanted to pay some ridiculous price on eBay. And Rocket Raccoon, awesome. Oops, Drax. Gamora Star Lord with the mask. I was not able to uh, get the one without the mask. That was some exclusive. Um, yeah, I don't remember who had the exclusive uh, for the one without the mask, but it was hard to get, I remember. And this is Fred from Big Hero 6. Hero. Hero. Big Hero 6. <laughs> and I've got the rest of these as well. Coming up next. And the rest of Big Hero 6. You got uh, Honey Lemon. Wasabi. Go go. Really hoping for uh, a sequel to this movie. Really, really liked it. And Hero. And of course, Baymax, both of the, the big ones. And with the armor, my wife really likes this one. Because it looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> And the armor Baymax. This one's really, really cool. Like, like, really nice quality. And it was only like, like nineteen bucks. Like, pretty impressed with the uh, the quality and uh, price of the of that. All right. Uh, this Deadpool is. Uh, this was the uh, Marvel Collector Core exclusive. Uh, it's the only Marvel Collector Core uh, box I ever got. Was the Deadpool one, and this was the very cool exclusive that it came with. And this is a Dragon Ball Z um, uh, exclusive as well. Uh, metallic. Very, very cool. Uh, this was an exclusive in uh, one of the anime, uh, uh, loot anime crates. Uh, this is the only metallic one that I have. Uh, I would definitely like more. Uh, this is a really cool finish. And Darth Vader without the mask. Pretty cool. Big scars all over his head. <laughs> and, ah, whoopsie. Yes. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really cool, very detailed. And this is a Nightmare Batman. From uh, Batman v Superman, I got this in a uh, a box as well. It was the uh, some nerd block thing special one, and Spider Gwen. Although that's not an exclusive, um, Spider Gwen, awesome, love Spider Gwen. Cool. Okay, now right away you'll notice that there is two here. Uh, just lying on their backs, and that is because I cannot get these two to stand up at all. <clears throat> they don't come with stands, like uh, this nice uh, Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad movie. Um, this is the only one from the movie uh, that I wanted to get. Excuse me. Uh, this Joker I got in a nerd block. Um, so that's cool. 
it's fine. Uh, not a big fan of uh, the look, um, but uh, for the pop, sure, I'll take the pop. The pop is actually pretty nice. <laughs> and this is Roller Derby um, Harley. And you can see the bottoms of her feet. She's got these uh, um, roller skates on. Um, the wheels don't actually move or anything, um, but she cannot stand up at all. Like, I cannot get her to stand up. Um, I keep her in her box. Um, like, uh, actually, all of these um, were uh, in their boxes. I just took them out. Um, yeah. Yeah. She, she, she <laughs> yeah. She can't stand up. Uh, this is the original Harley Quinn. Uh, I finally ended up buying this several months ago. It's still not a great paint job, um, but it's the best paint job of this uh, model I've ever seen. Every other, um, I've seen tons of these, and they always had terrible, terrible paint jobs. Um, this one, by comparison, is not bad at all. There's very little uh, bleeding, uh, like around their ha her hat and her eyes and. Uh, the pom poms, like I've seen lots of these, or um, uh, the white part here, you can see like black all o black spots all over it because uh, they didn't paint it all. There's a little bit of bleeding around her collar here, but it's not that bad. Uh, same with up here, um, but I mean overall, that's easily easily the best paint job of that one I've ever seen. And this is the Harley from the Batman Arkham games. Very very nice. Comes with a stand, so she can stand up properly. <laughs> And this is Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Uh, great character, uh, amazing game, Bioshock Infinite. Um, but uh, just like the Roller Derby Harley, Harley um, I cannot get her to stand up. She does not come with... Oh, does she come with a stand? There's a hole in the bottom of her foot. I didn't see one in the box though, just a second. Okay, never mind. Uh, Elizabeth does in fact come with a stand, I did not notice it. Um, but Roller Derby Harley uh, does not. So, all right, there. Wonderful. She stands up. Uh, this one really needs a stand, though, because uh, you'd have to lean it up against something. At least the one I have, anyway. All right, and here we have uh, all, my, all, my, all of my Doctor Who ones. Uh, we got the TARDIS here. Opens up inside. It's got a hollow uh, bottom there, so you can actually... Oh, I'll show you this. This is uh, Tom Baker, uh, the fourth Doctor, my favorite Doctor, the one I grew up with. Uh, he is awesome. Love Tom Baker. Um, but yeah, so if you want to display it, you can actually just put the Doctor. This is not the ideal uh, spot for me to do this right now because the tape, the <laughs> my TV stand is not really deep enough, but. I can do this. All right, you get the idea. <laughs> you can put him on display uh, like this, um, like he's coming out of the TARDIS or whatever. It does work. It does look very nice, but uh, I don't have enough space here right now. Uh, and then we got a Dalek or a Dalek. I always called them Daleks when I was a kid because uh, I don't have a British accent. Uh, but there you go. Uh, that's really cool. And we have uh, Poe Dameron from The Force Awakens. This is a really cool one, too. And from f two from Family Guy. We've got uh, Brian, who does look a little bit like Snoopy there. <laughs> and Ray Gun Stewie. There's like three Stewies, I think, and this is, this is the one I wanted the most, so that's the only one I got. Pretty cool. All right, so and here we got uh, Ray. From the Force Awakens, very cool. A lot of Ray's, uh, a lot of Ray cosplays at the, this year's Ottawa uh, Comic Con. Quite a few. And uh, this is the Hot Topic exclusive uh, Sailor Moon uh, with her uh, with her wand there, and also the uh, Luna with uh, the bandage on the forehead there instead of. Uh, the uh, the crescent moon. And Sailor Mercury. And those are the only two Sailor Moon ones that I have. And the Deadpool Chimichanga truck. This is awesome. So 
sides. Yeah, it's got the whole menu here. Hot chimichanga, cold chimichanga, the best chimichanga, yesterday's chimichanga, <laughs> polywana chimichanga, burned chimichanga, evil chimichanga, sugar honey iced tea, knuckle sandwich, cherry bomb, bag of chips, slice and dice. And yes, of course, he does come out. Pops right out there. And he's got his chimichanga with him. Awesome. And here we have two sets of uh, baby metal. Uh, why do I have two? Because I'm a big fan. <clears throat> they're really nice pops and they're very collectible. Uh, they were a little bit hard to get at first. Um, then not so much. Then again. So, I don't know. Uh, when I was at Comic-Con, I picked up another set. Excuse me. So here we have Yui Metal. And Sue Metal. And Moa Metal. Really nice. And... <clears throat> These, uh, those are the, the, the original set that I bought. And then these are the ones I got at Comic-Con. Uh, I got uh, these uh, plastic uh, cases for them and I never opened them. So these are staying in their box, even though, I mean, it's okay to take pops out of their, out of their uh, cases um, without, you know, damaging the, the box or the case or anything else. Uh, these are staying in their box just for collector purposes. And uh, yeah, that's why I got these. Uh, um, you can get these just about anywhere. These uh, plastic, uh, uh, they're acid-free, so like mylar, I guess. Yeah, they're basically. I guess they're basically like mylar. They're, they're acid-free uh, plastic uh, pop cases. Oop! Don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! And there we go. So, very very nice. All right, moving on. Okay, and here is Hatsune Miku. <clears throat> this was one of the first pops I ever bought, actually. Uh, I don't know if it was the first. Um, it, was, it was one of them. So she uses her uh, ponytails here to stand up, which is somewhat effective. Uh, sometimes she falls down, but uh, they work okay. <laughs> and this is a crystal. Uh, Hatsune Miku. This is a uh, Hot Topic exclusive. And this one actually stands up better than the original for whatever reason. I don't know why, but uh, that's pretty cool. You can see right through it. <laughs> and this is Luca, also from uh, the same game, also a Vocaloid. Got the new Project Diva X game today. I'm going to be uh, doing some videos on my gaming channel for that. And here we have uh, Naruto. Uh, this is actually my wife's. Uh, it's the only one that she has. Um, she would really like a uh, Kakashi one. That's her favorite Naruto character, but no pop of him exists. So that's the only one that she has. Uh, this is uh, Black Knight Superman. Um, I got this in a EB Games uh, Funko mystery box. So that's pretty cool. And... Here we have Cthulhu himself, Cthulhu, however you want to pronounce it. He's pretty cool. Awesome. We got Finn here from Force Awakens. Nathan Drake from Uncharted 4. This is the only Uncharted uh, pop that there is, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind a uh, a Sully and, uh, and an Elena, that'd be pretty cool if they would do that. <clears throat> and un, uh, pff, un, Fallout 4 Power Armor. This is a uh, EB Games or GameStop exclusive. I got this um, in a EB Games uh, Funko Mystery Box. So he's really cool. The exclusive part is uh, just uh, the paint job, which is pretty awesome. And Vault Boy from Fallout 4. Awesome. And from the Hateful Eight, Sam Jackson or Major Marquis uh, Warren? Warren, yeah. That's pretty awesome. And John the Hangman, 
Hangman something uh, from Hateful Eight by uh, Kurt, played by Kurt Russell. There's supposed to be two more of these: uh, Daisy Domergu and uh, the Sheriff. Uh, I have not seen them yet, though. So I don't know. And these are all of my Futurama ones. We got uh, Zoidberg. Professor Farnsworth with some little invention. <laughs> Fry. Bender. It says beer. Oops. Leela. And the Robot Devil. Um, I have not seen Zap Brannigan or Nibbler yet. Um, I know they're out there. I uh, have not seen them. I definitely want them. Right, so here's the uh, full Kill Bill collection. Uh, the Crazy 88 dude. O-Ren. Go Go Yubari, one of my favorite characters for them from uh, the movie. The Bride, and of course Bill. And over here we got uh, the EB Games GameStop exclusive of uh, the Evolve Goliath, the Goliath from uh, the game Evolve. Uh, the regular version of this is pretty cool, but this paint job is amazing. I love this one. This is one of my favorite pops. Look at that, man. That is just, that's awesome. If you like monsters like I do, like, man, this that's an awesome, awesome pop figure. <laughs> Absolutely love it. From Big Trouble in Little China, we got uh, Jack there, Jack Burton, played by Kurt Russell. Awesome. Gracie Law. Oops. Lopan. Mr. Evil. And the glow in the dark Lopan. Very cool. And from Magic the Gathering, I've got three. I've got uh, Liliana Vess. Oops. Stand. <laughs> Jay Spelleran and Nissa Ravine. And now for my biggest pop, I just showed this off actually in my last video because this is my newest one, and this is the Wonder Woman Invisible Jet. It's huge and awesome. Some assembly is required. Uh, the uh, wings come off in the stand and everything. And of course, she comes right out. There she is. Awesome. But yeah, man, invisible jet. Oops. <laughs> I show it off a little bit better in my other video actually because I had more have a little more room to work with. But anyways, there you go. So here we have some little guys. Uh, this is a mystery mini. Spider-Man. And these are uh, pocket uh, pop keychains. Uh, yeah, I still got them in the box, but I mean you can see them pretty well. Your Spider-Man, Deadpool. And Harley Quinn. Nice. And uh, these three are pocket pops. They actually come in uh, come in this uh, really nice tin. Pretty sweet. They barely stand up. Um, especially Harley. Uh, I'm actually surprised I was able to stand her up. <laughs> See if I can do it again. Uh, oh, there we go. Awesome. Batman. Oop. Well, whatever. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> and the Joker. 
Sweet. Yeah, it just uh, looks like that in the box. Tin. Now these are my Guardians of the Galaxy minis, though it's not all of them, I think. Um, so this is Nebula. I think this is the glow-in-the-dark one. Um, I had the other one. I, I think I had doubles of the other one, and I gave one away, but I'm not sure. I think I know where it is if I still have it. I don't remember. And um, this is, of course, Star Lord. And uh, Ronan. This is the metallic version. I, I think I had the other one too, but I can't remember if I put it away somewhere because I have this on display. Um, I don't remember now. But anyway, yeah, that's the metallic version, which is pretty cool. And Groot, of course. And Gamora. And these are not pops, but they are Funko. Uh, so that's it for the pops. Uh, these are two bobbleheads that my stepfather got me uh, a while back. And the Yoda. And Iron Man from Iron Man 2. Oh, he's a little dusty on the bottom. Anyway. <laughs> And these are my three Funko fabrications. Uh, the Harley Quinn here is the, the first and only one that I bought. It's pretty awesome. And my awesome wife bought these other two here, the Wicket. This feels, it probably is just like a carpet. <laughs> Very soft. And Princess Leia with the, the corduroy hair. <laughs> And they are somewhat articulate. The heads move. Arms do, do are a little bit too. Only two dorbs. Uh, I got both of these in uh, crates or blocks. I don't remember which. Um, this is the uh, Fallout uh, 4. That was really cool for a dorb. It's actually, this is probably the most detailed looking dorbs uh, I've ever seen. It's pretty cool. And Deadpool, Cowboy Deadpool. This, uh, I don't remember if this was in the Deadpool yes. Marvel Collector Core or a, lead, or a Loot Crate. I don't remember now. Anyways, he's awesome. This was in the Marvel Collector Core, though. Uh, this is my only uh, Mopies. Uh, yeah, Mopies plush. I still have the tag on it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Good. Bean bag, beanie baby, whatever. I don't know if this counts. I guess it does. It is technically Funko. This is a little Sue Metal uh, cardboard standy thing that comes with, with these uh, shirts here. Okay, and here is my uh, Boba Fett computer sitter, which I'm not taking off because he's uh, stuck on that speaker there. I got this uh, free with uh, Battlefront pre-order from uh, Best Buy. So yeah, he just sits up there on the speaker, and if you want to see how I display some of my pops that I have out, um, here's a few. Uh, I like putting some of the uh, movie, movie-themed uh, pops in front of their respective movies. Like there's a bunch of Star Wars there, for example. And uh, well, this this shelf's just kind of messy. Here's some more pops, uh, somewhat in front of their uh, respective movies or beside them. Uh, as in that case there, blah, yeah, lots of wires, lots of cables. And Wonder Woman is uh, right up here in her invisible jet. Uh, yeah, I have to clean this up a little bit. I just put all the uh, pops back that I was showing in the video, so I have to rearrange them again a little bit. But this is also a, a display case there. It has some other non-Funko stuff in there, like my holiday Harley Quinn, and that's my little uh, Big Hero 6 display there. And at the bottom there, this is, well, it's not Funko, it's Smurfs and some of my wife's stuff. Hello Kitty. Yeah. Oh, and comics for eBay and giving away or whatever. <laughs> Ones I don't want. Anyway. So that's it. That's a lot of Funko. Uh, that's it. That's all. Uh, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way to the end. If you did like this, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And thanks again for watching and see ya.